John, are you the supervisor at Don Bosco College? Yes, I am. And I suppose you are Rosa, the mentor assigned for a student. Please, take a seat. You received my email in reference to the new apprentice who's coming to the company next month, didn't you? Yes, I did. And I have some information I would like to share with you. Great. I would like you to inform me about the apprentice, the content of the studies, the methodology, and what you and the apprentice expect from our company. Okay, perfect, fine. If you don't mind, I will start with the curriculum vitae of the apprentice. We advise our apprentices to write their CVs using the Europass template because we think it's the most complete profile. There are four main points and you can see them here. First one is about personal information, second one is about work experience, third one is about education and training, and fourth one is about personal skills. For example, digital skills, job-related skills, organizational skills, communicational skills, etc. If you want, I can also provide you with information about his personality. Okay, good to know about him. He seems to fit in our organization. I see he's Michael, he's 20 years old, he has no work experience, and he's studying industrial mechatronics. Could I check the learning outcomes he has to achieve during his studies, and especially those related to the apprenticeships? Uh, in this document, this is the general curricular design of industrial mechatronics, you can see the objectives and the learning outcomes, as well as the teaching and learning methods. Every module has its own ones and we can analyze one by one and discuss those ones you would like to know better. We also can see which ones are theoretical and which ones are practical. Okay, and according to that, which learning outcomes do you think the apprentice should develop with us? It depends on the suitability and resources of your company. We can write a checklist with the different learning outcomes and you can tick the ones you think fit better in your company. Let's say, for example, that we decide to develop this learning outcome related to industrial maintenance. What do you think? Okay, I think that one could fit at the maintenance department. We have adequate structure and equipment for developing these activities. And I think that the next one could also be interesting. And we also have what is requested. Let's write that checklist you mentioned. What do you think? Fine. It will be very positive for the apprentice to gain all that knowledge here with you. Do you have any task or activity in mind to develop these learning outcomes? Well, I do have some activities in mind, but I really don't know how to deal with them. You know, we don't have much expertise on this field. I would appreciate your help on methodological aspects. Fine. It will be a pleasure. I can explain to you how we work in our methodology, and then we can match them with your ideas. Okay, I will try to summarize. First of all, let the apprentice to be autonomous. Second, give him some instructions and let him to reach his own conclusions. Third, make him responsible for his time and duty management. Fourth, ask him for feedback. You should be informed about his results and doubts quite often. Fifth, give feedback to him as often as you can. And sixth, enroll him in a work team. One of the first things that you mentioned is that the apprentice should be autonomous. But what if he does something wrong and nobody notices it? That's why we have to make a monitoring plan with him and with his workmates and create also tools for evidences. They could be written reports or just informal conversations, but at any case, we have to keep record of them. Okay, I think I have enough with these types you give me. I'll start writing that checklist with the activities, okay? Perfect, let's do so.